Hello, hello, hello! This is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Richard of the Classic Gamers Guild on Facebook. Rich Gen X elsewhere. And it's time to return to that horrible, horrible place known as Maniac Mansion. Or, should I say, it's time to return to the Day of the Tentacle. God, that does sound like a cheesy horror movie. As we go over here. Now, if you remember right. We had just got. We were just came across the Founding Fathers. With Hoagie. So, uh, let's talk to John Hancock. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Hmm. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. He's going to give the log to starving children? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... a, a, a writing the... A, We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft, you'll only make me colder. Wimp. Oh boy. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. Okay. You mean it's like a symbol of growth or something? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. Hmm. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any um, amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any br brilliant ideas? Hmm. You could guarantee the right to free speech. Hmm. Free speech? No, that'll never work. <laughs> awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Well, it's obvious it was colorblind. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. <laughs> you mean you have, like, a childhood complex? All right. The, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go crazy over guys with a big signature. Well, I gotta go, dude. Okay. It looks like a martini shaker. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. Yeah, we all have. <laughs> What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas. My name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. Filled mm. with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. Hmm. Be perfect for Laverne if we have to get anything to her. Dude, is that like the Constitution? Right now it's just a Constitution, I'm afraid. We 
hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Hmm. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. Okay. Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. Okay. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fire of the spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Hmm. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? <laughs> I like, I like the we the people part. That's not in the declaration. Say, that's, say that's, that's not bad. bad. Maybe we can use it. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm, I'm sorry, sorry to say, say that it's all my life. We have got nothing. Well, 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 What? What's going to happen later? Okay. Off that. Okay. They don't got too, too far. far. You take it. You can have a look, but I don't have much. Okay. Let's talk to George. Okay, excuse, excuse me. me. Hmm, he's having some problems with those teeth, I think. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, uh, you're like, like George, George Washington. Washington. Very, very, very much, much like George Washington. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh, yes, it's my truth. Why? I've got no doubt a good cherry tree in my day. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. Okay. Cold enough for you. you. Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now, now that, that was cold. Cool. Extremely. Okay. Well. Hmm. Oil. skis. Let's open a pantry, see if there's anything in, in the pantry. I can't open it. Well, that was a water pump. What's in this room here? What's in this door here? Hmm. Ah, oh, there's a bucket. Let's get a bucket. Let's open this cabinet, see if there's anything in here we can need, use. Ooh, a brush! That's gonna be handy, I know that. Alright. Now, let's go back down here. Yeah, I can't get that hat. I wanna go back down here, so I think... Let's see if I can grab that hammer. Say, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. Oh. Well, for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. Okay, that could be handy. Meanwhile, Just about done with this. Then I'm grabbing the latest flag design and sewing it up. Then it's bye-bye, Betsy.
let's see what Hoagie can find out. Let's see, open the door. Oh, George's bed. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Oh. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Talk to the maid. Hey, lady. Yes, Mr. Washington? Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Like most maids, I keep them on my cart, in the hall. I'll let you get back to your work. Yes, there's lots to be done. Don't touch it. All done here. Bye now. Oh. There we go. Now, that should keep her busy. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. Yeah, but it's something we're gonna need. Okay, let's open this door, see who's in. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Uh, hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. Well, then. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Mm -hmm. How about a skull with, like, scorpions in its mouth? Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Mm. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Okay! Stars and stripes, dull, dull, dull. Hey, don't criticize unless you got a better idea. Gosh, I never want to mess with history. Let's see what whose room this is. I don't quite see how it can fly. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Hmm. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Hmm. Wine bottle. Okay, well, let's see what's up here. It's a horse. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. Oh, it's Mr. Ed. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. <laughs> I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Never think of that. You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Mm. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. <laughs> nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. That you paid for? Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? Touche. I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. <laughs> well, I gotta go. See you later.
question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. Mm. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hmm. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Mm. Or the model? Now let's say uh... I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing. Oh boy. Where you're from. Mm. Where exactly did you come from? Hmm. I live off campus with Bernard and Laverne. How nice for you. How nice for Bernard. How nice for Laverne. How nice for everybody. Well, actually, they never let me play my music very loud. Yes, of course. Well, goodbye. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? <laughs> Big, dumb people. I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? <laughs> no. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. Oh, uh, well. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Now I got the right-handed hammer. I've lost it! Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? No. I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. A cappuccino back then? I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. And this does have an effect. In the future. Don't know if Edna noticed. Or maybe she did. Alright. Let's uh, take a look up in the attic here. It's a cat! Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Now this is the room of Jed and 
bit. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? I don't wanna. Where am I gonna put it? Like the cats caught a moose up there. <laughs> we distracted the cat long enough to get. I can see the roof right outside. I wonder if we can open that. Window. It's already open. Go out to the window and... It's one of those pulley things. Yes, it is, Hoagie. So maybe we need it for something. Now. Now, I think we've gotten everything we can for right now down here. Uh, no. So what we're going to do now is we're going to step out here. No, I wonder, will that mouse scare the horse? I'll try that. I think not. Darn. Alright. Now, we've done a lot with Hoagie here in the past. Let's go to Bernard and, the, um, and Laverne stuck up a tree. And we can't do much with Laverne until uh, we get her out of that tree. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Well... Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. Yeah, she's, uh, stuck. World's greatest mad scientist. Yeah. Hey, Dr. Fred. We have to do something. What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit. No power for the chronogons. Hmm. A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world. It's a dark day for mad science. <laughs> Why can't we just fix the time machine? It needs a whole new diamond. Okay. Now, where am I going to get the money? 
now. How much could it possibly cost? Two million dollars! So, you've got money, don't you? Well, I didn't get all the money I expected from that TV show about us. <laughs> we had to rent out our mansion as a hotel just to make ends meet. Uh. If only I had signed that contract in time. What contract? Well, after that incident when I was possessed by a meteor from outer space, somebody decided to make a show about us, but they didn't pay us anything. All we got was a cut of the video game. Wow, that thing made millions. Yes, I forgot to sign the royalty contract in time, though. I still have it in my safe upstairs. Oh. Let's go get the contract out of the safe and sign it. Yeah, I forgot the combination. But that's... that's so stupid, Dr. Fred. I know. It gives my enormous brain nightmares. Every night I dream about opening the safe, but I find something horrible inside and slam it shut. Over and over again, night after night. Is that why you drink so much coffee? I haven't slept in two years. Oh, good lord. We'll have to fix that. We have to do something. Yes, we have to get a new diamond. Okay. How about catching Purple Tentacle? He's long gone. Probably taking over the world as we speak. Crash of cow tippings baffle police. What is he at my college? Soon we'll all be speaking well, English, I guess. Yeah, and English is not the official language of the United States, no matter how much they want what to say that. What if we that. unpollute the river? I could just shut off my sludgeomatic machine, but it's too late. You have a machine whose sole function is producing toxic waste? You can't have a high-tech laboratory like this and not spew poisonous filth. All the other mad scientists would laugh. Isn't there anything we can do? Company, so. Go diamond In shopping. In the old days. Okay. You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. Sorry, coffee jitters. Maybe you should switch to decaf. No, then I'd fall asleep and... The dreams would come. Okay. How's the mad scientist biz? Not too lucrative lately. We're living mostly on the income from renting out our mansion. That and Edna's tips from her exotic dancing. Call me when you get a diamond. Well... Now well, we gotta figure things out here. Okay, can't get that diamond. Let's go in here. What's in here? Oh, this was at uh, his office. There was a camera looking at it. Oh, wait. What's going on in here? Let's uh, go in here. Let's see. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Hmm. Huh. 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 Oy. I hate that clown. Let's open that grating or something about that, I think. Hmm. Mm. Air conditioning, I guess. Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. It looks like Ben Franklin. A novelty good salesman's convention. I tell you, we novelty good salesmen know how to have a good time. Mm. Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Quixote? 
That's strange. My wife says I look like Charles de Gaulle. Oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. God bless Havana. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Yeah. Well, you were right! Cartoon physics. Okay. Smoke, it's a bad habit. So I can tell. That's where's this game's anti smoking message. That cracks me up every time. Although, of the, uh. Of all the products that are, quote, <laughs> smoking, uh, cigars are probably by far not the dangerous. My father smokes cigars. I also smoked a pipe. Never. On extremely, 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 extremely rare occasion did he smoke a cigarette. Ah, uh, but uh, given the time, I think it's this is a good place to call it a episode. Again, this is Richard of the Classic Gamers Guild. Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rick's Gen X elsewhere. And if you are enjoying this game, I invite you to watch, take, subscribe to the channel, and check out others that I have on here. I have the previous game in the series up there, Maniac Mansion. And until then, until next time, I want you to take care and have fun. Bye! -bye.